Let me first put a shout out right now, if I could, for www.noblegoldinvestment.com. That's www.noblegoldinvestment.com. You know, Noble Gold CEO Colin Plume thinks that quantitative tightening is setting up the stage for a gold rally. And in his interview with the National Desk, Colin Plume said that the tightening is pushing the dollar up. However, he predicts that by next year, the Fed will print money again to restart the economic activities. If you're thinking of gold and silver right now, good time to do it. Noble Gold is giving a free gold American Eagle coin with every eligible IRA or 401k rollover in this month of September. You can't go wrong with noblegoldinvestments.com. Pick up the phone Tuesday morning at 877-646-5347. That's 877-646-5347. And find out about your financial planning. Let Noble Gold help you. And tell them that Pastor Paul Begley sent you there. Let's go to the European Union, where the EU could face blackouts this winter, their crisis commissioner is warning. The European Union could face blackouts this winter as the continent faces an ongoing energy crisis amid Russia's war in Ukraine, but Brussels is preparing for worst-case scenarios, according to the EU Crisis Management Commissioner. Asked in an interview published on Tuesday by Germany's R&D Media Network whether EU countries would need disaster relief due to the energy crisis, the commissioner responded, quote, yes, that is quite possible. The commissioner said the e European Union Commission is considering two different scenarios. First, that, quote, one or a small number of member states will be affected by a minor incident such as a blackout, in which case other EU countries could support and deliver power generators to them, quote, as happens during natural disasters. The commissioner said the second is that, quote, a large number of countries could be affected in which case the EU's strategic reserve would be used to meet demands. Vice President Kamala Harris says Americans don't need to, quote, abandon their faith to support abortion. Americans don't need to abandon their faith in order to support abortion rights in the United States, according to Vice President Kamala Harris, who argued the point on Wednesday. Harris made the statement while speaking at an abortion rights conference in Connecticut, joining a panel discussion alongside Planned Parenthood President Alexis McGill Johnson and Representative Johanna Hayes, a Democrat of Connecticut. Hayes pressed Vice President Harris to explain how a person might still support abortion rights even if their religious beliefs declare it immoral. Quote, what do you say to someone who understands why abortion should be a personal decision between a pregnant person and whomever else they decide to include in the conversation but believes they can't reconcile it with their faith, Hayes asked, reading a question from the audience. Quote, that's such an important point to raise, Harris responded. Quote, it's her choice and it should be her choice to make if she chooses a consultation with a loved one, with a health care provider, with her faith leader. I say this, one does not have to abandon their faith or their beliefs to agree that the government should not be making that decision for her, she continued. It's literally that basic, she said. Let's go to Los Angeles, where an attorney for a deceased police officer is claiming the LAPD officer was killed during a training exercise by cops he was investigating for a sexual assault. The attorneys for the family of a Los Angeles Police Department officer who died during a training exercise earlier this year say he was investigating another officer also involved in the exercise for gang rape allegations. Houston Tipping, 32, died after he was injured by the officer under investigation during a bicycle training exercise back in May, a family attorney said on Monday. Tipping had taken the accident report to the officer's alleged sexual assault. Tipping's family is suing the police department for wrongful death. Quote, I'm certainly alleging that at least one officer engaged in an abuse of force in order to try and scare or harm Officer Tipping in order to prevent him from investigating a claim of rape. 
Attorney Bradley Gage said at a news conference. The slaying of two Kansas City science researchers has garnered international attention. Officials in South America are following the deaths of two Stowers Institute researchers who were found dead in an apartment fire in Kansas City, Missouri over the weekend. On Wednesday, Antonia Noriega, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Chile, said the General Council of Chile and Chicago is in contact with law enforcement in Missouri. One of the victims, Pablo Guzman Palma, 25, is a native of Chile. The second victim, Camila Berenson, was born in Argentina. Responding fire crews located the pair inside an apartment unit in the 4100 block of Oak Street. An investigation revealed they had both been shot. Former socialite scammer Anna Sorkin wins release from jail but is still banned from all social media. Fake German heiress Anna Sorokin has been granted release from prison but will still be banned from all forms of social media, an immigration judge said on Wednesday. The 31-year-old con artist and the subject of the Netflix show Inventing Anna has won release from the Orange County prison where she has spent the last 17 months in ICE custody as she fights her deportation. She is expected to be released tomorrow once she has found a place to stay, her representative told Page Six. Sorokin, who has for years duped New York socialites by pretending she was a wealthy heiress named Anna Delvey, must remain under 24-hour house arrest with electronic monitoring in addition to posting $10,000 in bail, according to the judge's order. She is also prohibited from accessing all social media platforms including Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok, and Instagram, where she has one million followers.